Richard Donner movie on the day they premiered. Every single one. Goodness. Lost Boys. The Lethal Weapons series. But my favorite has to be Lady Hawk. That was back in 1985. Same year as Goonies. Both Rutger Hauer and Michelle Pfeiffer really shine in that one. But more than anything, it's the story setting that was really good. A love story about a cursed knight that changes into a wolf at night cursed maiden that changes into a hawk during the day. Very romantic. Don't you think so, Sam? They can only be together at dusk, right between day and night. Together as humans for only a brief moment. Perfect setting for a fantasy movie. Hmm. I just had a thought, Zach. I really like those movies that have women changing into animals. Can you tell which movie I just remembered? That's right, Zach. With Nastasia Kinski in the lead role. Now that was a fantastic movie. But I better concentrate on driving. We'll finish this later. Nastasia Kinski in the lead role in Paul Schrader directing back in 1981. That's right, Zach. Cat people. About a woman who turns into a leopard when she falls in love and then eats the person she loves. I thought it was romantic. Real romance right there, Zach. Oh, Nastasia was perfect for that role. Casting her made that movie a success. Malcolm McDowell was her brother was also a good call. He's like a or even without any of that special Hollywood makeup. Now, the name Malcolm McDowell rings another bell. You know the movie I'm talking about, right, Zach? Don't tell me you're thinking about Clockwork Orange. Malcolm McDowell, come on, it's pretty obvious. Blue Thunder. It came out in 1983. It was directed by John Bat. Malcolm plays the bad guy in that one. He just totally outshines the hero, Roy Scheider. At least I think so. I have to say, not many people agree with me about Blue Thunder. Zach, if you disagree with any of my opinions about movies, just come out and speak your mind, okay? Just speak your mind.
Well then, Olivia, talk to me. Y yes. In the beginning, Nick only went to the gallery during the day. But he went so often, at some point he became friendly with Diane. They started going out drinking together, and now he doesn't come home until early morning. He always says that they were only drinking in my eyes. He blames me for not being able to talk about Turner and Rembrandt. Which of course I can't, can I? So what can I say? Finally, I couldn't take it anymore. So I followed him. He did go to the bar, to start with. Diane was there too. But the real problem is where they go to next, right? So I waited outside the bar to see where he might go. And, and they eventually left the bar and headed for the art gallery. But it was, it was already early morning, but it was still dark. Just before going inside, Diane turned around. It should have been too dark to see me, but I swear, her eyes looked right at me. They seemed to flash for a moment. I was so rattled. That I left and went home. The next day, Anna was found dead. I, I didn't know what to do. I went to the gallery to talk with Diane about it, to confront her. But once I was there, I couldn't find the courage to go through with it. Then I saw you there, and I just felt I had to go home. Nick has been seeing Diane every night recently. He just left for tonight, too. I, I, I really don't know what to do. <laughs> York, we have to take Nick in for questioning. No, not yet. This alone isn't enough. Emily, answer me. This is Emily. Agent York is with me, too. I've just received word from Thomas at the Sheriff's Department. Something has happened at Becky's house. He was called in by Quinn, but he wasn't making any sense. We have no further details. I've sent Thomas over there. Can you go back him up? Yes, sir. One other thing. It sounded like he said, raincoat killer. This may well be related to the murder case. Take all due precautions. <gasps> no! It couldn't be! Nick? Oh, please, no! What can I do? Nick! <laughs> Olivia, calm down. Emily, take care of Olivia. I'm heading over to Becky's. She lives in the big house over by the lake. Hurry! I just hope this isn't anything serious. Damn it, Zach. We may have screwed up during the investigation.
all he would say since I got here. <laughs> Quint, tell me, what did you see in there? Damn. Damn. Did you see the raincoat Damn. killer? Damn. Did you see Nick here? Oh, no. When I got here, he was already like this. He should be here soon. I'll call George and tell him to get over here. I'll wait out here. I'm going inside. Once they both get here, follow George's orders, okay? Yes. But Agent York, isn't it dangerous to go in there alone? Don't worry. Zack is with me. Zack, let me smoke one first. I need to clear my head so I can take everything in. That's a strange coincidence. Look, red velvet. 
just like the place where Anna was murdered. Too much noise. We're still missing a vital piece of the puzzle. 